We are asked to find out the value of RL that maximizes the power delivered to it. So we have to find out what is the value of RL so that the maximum power is transferred to this resistance. Now by maximum power transfer theorem, if we have an equivalent circuit of a network with say voltage source V and an internal resistance R, then the maximum power is transferred when R is equal to RL. That means when these two values are equal, we can transfer maximum power to the resistance. <coughs> so we are <coughs> so we have to find out what is the Thevenin's equivalent resistance across these two terminals. Now we have to open circuit this terminal and find out the Thevenin's resistance looking into it. Now we can do it by two ways which are conventional methods. One we can put a test source which can be an voltage source or a current source. If we put a voltage source we have to find out the current through it. If we put a current source we have to find out the voltage across it in order to find out the evidence resistance. Now another method is we can find out what is the open circuit voltage across these two terminals and the short circuit current through these two terminals and find out the Thevenin's voltage as V open circuit by I short circuit. These are the two conventional ways which we can solve this. But here we can observe here that we have 4 ohm here, 4 ohm here. They are identical. These two branches are identical here and another forum here. You can see whatever voltage is developed across this forum is the value of the dependent source here. So we can replace this dependent source with a resistance of forum. This is because of this speciality of the circuit that we have these three components same or we have these two components same and the voltage developed here is the same voltage here. We can draw the equivalent circuit considering that to find out the Thevenin's resistance we have to now we have no dependent source here what we have is a resistance so we can do it by the method for solving simple circuits that means we can op so we can draw the equivalent circuit we have the 4 ohm the other 4 ohm we have to find out the equivalent resistance here where all the resistances are 4 ohms that means we have 8 ohm here 4 ohm plus 4 ohm that is 8 ohm 8 ohm parallel with 8 ohm that is 4 ohms so the value for that maximizes the power delivered to it will be 4 ohms <coughs>